Greetings! Mantra 79 here, and welcome back to another deck profile video for Card Fight Vanguard Deer Days! Alright, let's get started. Pressing the A button now. Loading game and proceeding. Here we are in the main menu, going to edit deck menu. And now in today's video, the deck profile I'm gonna be making one for is a Dark States, Approaching Fangs, Chaos, D Booster 5. Okay, then first let's just go to this empty slot here, create new deck, create a new deck, and selecting the nation, selecting Dark States. And here we are, and like I just mentioned before, the deck I'm building in today's deck profile video is a Dark States Approaching Fangs Chaos deck made up of cards only available up until D Booster 5. Okay, then first let's go to the filter settings, pack, show only cards from D Booster 1, Genesis of the Five Greats, D Booster 2, A Brush of the Legends, D Booster 3, Advance of Intertwined Stars, D Booster 4, Awakening of Chakaborty, D Booster 5, Shrine for Return of Brave Heroes, Festival Collection 2021, and Promo Pack number 1, Apply Filter, here we go. And now let's first start off with the Grade 3 lineup. For the Grade 3s that so we're playing, Ride Deck, Grade 3, Approaching Fangs, Chaos, Skills for Skill, Action, as a Vanguard, once per turn, Cost, Counter Blast 1, and discard a card from your hand. If the cost is paid, look at the top 3 cards of your deck, choose one card from among them and put it into your hand, choose up to one unit card from among them, call to rear guard, put the rest into your soul, second skill, auto, as a Vanguard, but this unit attacks a Vanguard, if your soul has 8 or more cards with different card names, choose one of your rear guards and it gets plus 10,000 power until end of turn. If your soul has 13 or more cards with different card names, choose all of your rear guards instead. And third skill, Glitter. This card is a Glitter that seeks the Fire Regulus. So for appro approaching Fangs, Chaos is the main grade 3 to run this deck. It skills the first skill. By paying the cost of Counter Blast 1 and discarding card from your hand, you can look at the top 3 cards of the deck. And from those 3 cards, you choose one to move into your hand, one to call the rear guard, and one to move the soul. So for this first skill, by paying the cost, you can more or less take one card to add to your hand, one ca card to call to the rear guard to attack or boost with or to make use of its skill, and one card to simply add up to your soul. And so for the second skill, when your vanguard chaos attacks the vanguard, if your soul has 8 or more cards with different card names, you can give one rear guard on your field plus 10,000 power. If you have 13 or more cards with different card names, all your rear guards get plus 10,000 10, power instead. So for the second skill, whenever you attack your vanguard chaos, as long as you manage to meet the conditions, you have the chance to give one rear guard or potentially all rear guards plus 10,000 power, making it easier to pressure or finish off your opponent with the increased power. So for approaching Fangs Chaos, we're putting four in the deck, one the right deck. There we go. Next up, the Grade 3, Cool Headed Executor, Mikani, Skills for Skill, Auto. When this unit is placed in the rear guard circle, cost, counter blast one, soul blast one. If the cost is paid, choose one of your opponents of your guards with the same grid as the cart soul blast up for its cost and retire it. Second skill, glitter, glitter chaos. Activate your vanguard as a glitter with chaos in its cart name. Skill auto as a rear guard once per turn. When your Vanguard attacks, if your soul has 8 or more cards of different card names, names stand as unit. If you stand as unit, put this unit to your soul at the end of the turn. Super Mikani is a support card for the Chaos deck. It's skill the first skill. When you call Mikani to the rear guard and paying a cost of Counter Blast and Soul Blast 1, you can choose one rear guard on your opponent's field. This was the same grade as the soul, soul Blasted card for this cost and retire it. So for this first skill, as long as you pay the correct cost and meet the conditions, you can retire an opponent's rear guard. And second skill, while Mikani is in your rear guard, when your vanguard attacks while having 8 or more different cards in the soul, you can restand your rear guard Mikani for another attack. But then at the at the after restanding at the end of the turn, you have to move your Mikani to the from the rear guard to the soul. So for the second skill, as long as the conditions are met, you can not only restand your Mikani for another attack, but to also move it to the soul to build up your soul for either soul blasting or to meet the conditions for Chaos's skill. And so for Cool Headed Executor Mikani, we're putting four into the deck. There we go. Next up, we're putting in the Great Three. We're putting the Great Three, Normal Order, Crawl, you insects, Skill, Order, play the Counter Blast of one, Soul Charge one, then choose one of your units. It gives us 10,000 power until end of, end of turn for every five cards to your soul. If your soul is 10 or more cards, draw a card. So for Crawl, you insects, it's a, it's a pretty good order card to play in your Dark State Station decks. It's skill by paying a counter blast of one. Not only can you soul charge one, 
but then you can choose one unit in your field, Vanguard or Rearguard, and give it plus 10,000 power for every 5 cards in your soul. If 10 or more cards were in your soul when activating this card, you can also draw a card. So for Crawl Your Insects, it's a good way to not only increase your power to potentially pressure or finish off your opponent with, but to also restock your hand of new cards if you draw one bonus. And so for Crawl Your Insects, we're putting in three into the deck. There we go. Next up, the Grade 3 Time Jared Dragon. Skill, Auto. When this unit is placed in the rear guard circle, cost, put a card from your hand to the soul. If the cost is paid, draw a card. So for Time Jared Dragon, it's a pretty good card to play in your Dark State Station deck. It's skill. When it calls to the rear guard, you can take any card from your hand and move in your soul, then draw a card. So for Time Jared, it's a good way to build up your soul with more cards to Soul Blast with, or to add in different cards with different names to activate Chaos's skill just by calling Time Jared and moving any card from your hand to the soul. Then you can also draw one card to replace the card that was put in the soul for this cost. So for Time Jared Dragon, we're putting two in the deck. There we go. And now for the Great 2 lineup. For the Great 2 in this deck, we're playing... We're playing the Great 2. Ride deck, great two, quagmire of solace, chaos, skills for skill, auto. When this unit is rolled upon by approaching Fang's chaos, cost soul charge one. If the soul charge card was a trigger unit, draw a card. If this was a normal unit, choose up to one card from your soul and call to rear a circle. Second skill, glitter. This card is a glitter to 65 at Regulus. So for Quackmire of Solace Chaos, it's the main great two to ride this deck. It's skill the first skill. When you ride approaching Fang's chaos on top of it, you can Soul Charge 1, then if the Soul Charge card was a trigger unit, you can draw a card. If it was a normal unit, you can Superior Call one card from your soul to the rear guard. So for this first skill, by riding the Great 3 Chaos on top of it, you can activate one of two abilities depending on what card it was Soul Charged by this first skill. If you got a trigger card, you can restock your head of more cards with the draw card bonus. And if it was a normal unit, you have the potential to add yourself another attacker or booster from the back row depending on what card you Superior Call of this skill. So for Quack Mario Sauce Chaos, we're putting one into the deck, putting in the right deck. There we go. Next up, we're putting in the Great Two. The Great Two Selfish Engraver. Skills for skill, auto as a rear guard. But this unit attacks, soul charge one. Second skill, auto as a rear guard. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. If your soul is 10 or more cards, put this card into your soul. Counter charge one. So for Selfish Engraver, it's a pretty good card to play in your Dark State Station decks for skill, the first skill. Whenever you're a rear guard, Selfish Engraver lands, lands an attack on either an opponent's vanguard or rear guard, you can soul charge one. So for this first skill, it's a good way to not only build up your soul for later soul blast, but to also fill up the cards you might need to activate Chaos's skill. And a second skill, at the end of the battle, your rear guard Selfish Engraver attacked if your soul has 10 or more cards. As long as you don't mind moving Selfish Engraver from your rear guard to your soul, you can counter charge one. So for the second skill, it's not only a good way to build up your soul for later soul blast or to increase your soul cards to activate Chaos's skill, but also to refund your counter blast for later skills. So for the great two, Selfish Engraver, we're putting two in the deck. Okay, there we go. Next up, we're putting in the great two. Next great two we're putting in is the great two amazing frost skill auto when this unit is placed on the rear guard circle cost soul blast one if the cost is paid draw a card choose a card from your hand and put it into your soul then if your soul is eight or more cards with different card names this unit gets plus five thousand power until end of turn if your soul is ten or more cards with different card names it gets this unit gets plus ten thousand power instead so for Amazing Frost, it's a pretty good card to play in your Dark State Nation decks, especially for your Chaos decks. It's skill. When you call to the rear guard, by paying the cost of Soul Blast 1, you can draw one card, then take any card from your hand and move it to your soul. Then after paying the cost and activating the skill, if your soul has 8 or more different cards, you get plus 5,000 power. If 10 or more different cards, 10,000 power. So for the skill, Amazing Frost is a good way to not only secure more more different cards into your soul to activate chaos's skill but as long as you meet the conditions you can turn your rear guard amazing frost into a potential 15,000 power to 20 20 000 power attacker in the front row so for amazing frost we're putting two in the deck there we go and now for the great one lineup for the great ones in this deck we're playing the great one the great one right deck in the calm streaks, chaos, skills for skill, auto. When this unit is rolled upon by Quack Mire of Solace Chaos, reveal the top two cards of your deck. Put all normal units from among them into your soul. Put the rest in the bottom of your deck in the order. Second skill, glitter. This card is a glitter to 60 fire regulus. So we're in the calm streaks, chaos. It's the main great one to ride in this deck. It's skill the first skill. When you ride Quack Mire of Solace Chaos on top of it, you can look at the top two cards of your deck. If any normal units were revealed among those cards, put them into the soul. If and, and any non-normal units are sent to the bottom of the deck. 
So for this first skill, as long as you ride the Great 2 Chaos on top of your Great 1 Chaos, you have the chance to more or less secure more cards into your soul for, for soul blasting or to activate Chaos's skill depending on what card was revealed by this first skill. So we're in the Calm Streets Chaos, we're putting one the deck, one the right deck, there we go. Next up, we're putting in the Great 1. We've set filter, going to grade one, apply rarity filter, SD. For the great one, we're putting in great one, psychic prima, Miranda, sentinel, perfect guard, skills for skill, continuous sentinel. You may only have up to four cards of continuous sentinel on deck, second skill, auto. When this unit is put in the guardian circle, cost discard a card from your hand. If the cost is paid, choose one of your units, it cannot be hit until the end of battle. Super Miranda, it's a perfect guard for the Dark States Nation. Like any other perfect guard in the card by Vanguard Trading Card game, it features the same skill and activation. When used to guard with, by discarding a card from your hand, you can block one enemy attack. Super Miranda, we're putting one in the deck, there we go. Now resetting filter, going back to D Booster 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Festival Collection 2021, Promo Pack, Reply Filter, there we go. Next great ones, we're putting in the great one. The Great One, Steam Battle or Gun Room, Skills for Skill, Auto. When this unit is placed in the rear guard circle, Soul Charge 1, Second Skill, Action as a rear guard once per turn, Cost Soul Blast 3, if the cost is paid, draw a card. Super Gun Room is a pretty good card to play in your Dark State Station's decks. It's skill. The first skill, when you call Gun Room to your rear guard, you can Soul Charge 1. So for this first skill, it's a good way to build up your soul for later Soul Blast or to increase the number of cards to activate Chaos's skill. Second skill, by paying the cost of Soul Blast 3, you can draw a card. So as long as you, for the second skill, as long as you've got the necessary cards, to eject from your soul, you have the chance to restock your hand by drawing one. So for Steam Battle of Gunrun, we're putting two in the deck, there we go. Next up, we're putting in the Great One, Recuse of Hate Dragon, Sentinel, Perfect Guard, Skills for Skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may have only up to four cards of Continuous Sentinel on deck, second skill, auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, choose one of your units, it cannot be hit until end of battle. If your hand has two or more cards, choose a card from hand to discard it. Super Accuso Hate Dragon is another perfect guard for the Dark Six Nation. Like any other perfect guard in the card by Vanguard Training Card game, it features the same skill and activation. When used to guard whip and discarding a card from your hand, you can block one enemy attack, but it also features an ability unique to all these stand up perfect guards. When used to guard with while you have less than two cards in hand, you will not have to pay the usual discard one cost, making Recuso Hate Dragon a potential no cost perfect guard in desperate last resort situations. And so for Recusal Hate Dragon, we're putting three in the deck, there we go. And next up, the next great one we're putting in is the Great One. The Great One, Brainwash Swirler, skills for skill, auto. When this unit is placed in the rear guard circle, soul charge one, second skill, auto as a rear guard. When your car is put into your soul by your spy soul charge, if your vanguard is greater or greater, this unique is plus 5,000 power on the end of turn, 10,000 power if it's soul charge two. So for Brainwash Swirler, it's another good support card for the Dark Station deck. It's skill the first skill. When calling the river circle, you can soul charge one. So for this first skill, it's more or less just like the Steam Gunner Gun Room skill. Just by calling to the rear guard, you can soul charge one to build up your soul for later soul blast or to increase the number of cards in your soul to potentially activate Chaos's skill and second skill. While on the rear guard, whenever you soul charge cards, as long as your vanguard is greater or greater, your Brainwash Swirler can get plus 5,000 power for every soul charge. So for the second skill, it's a good way to make your Brainwash Swirler into a powerful front row attacker or back row booster. And the best part is, this skill is stackable. For every time you soul charge a card, you can keep stacking 5,000 power onto Brainwash Swirler, giving you a powerful rear guard to attack or boost with. So for Brainwash Swirler, we're putting two in the deck. There we go, just two. Next up, we're putting in the Great One. The Great One, Steam Maiden Barney, skill, auto. When this unit is placed in the rear guard circle from hand, if your soul is 8 or more cards with different card names, cost counter blast 1. If the cost is paid, choose a great one or less card from your soul and call it the rear guard circle. If your soul is 10 or more cards with different card names, choose a great 4 or less card instead of great 1 or less card. So for Barney, for skill, when called onto the rear, the rear guard circle from hand, if your soul is 8 or more different cards, you can counter blast one or take any great one or less card from your soul to call the rear guard circle. If 10 or more cards, different cards are in your soul for the activation of the skill, you can take a great 4 or less card to call to the rear guard circle. So for Barney, she's a good way to restock your rear guards of potential attackers or boosters or skills to, to benefit your later game strategy as long as you can meet the cost and, and conditions for the skill. So for Steam Maiden Barney, we're putting 4 into the deck. There we go. And next up, the great one. 
Flaming Pony, Scale, Action from the Soul, Bind this card, if the cost and paid, Soul Charge 2. Silver Flaming Pony is a pretty good card to play in your Dark Station decks, it's skill. As long as you manage to secure Flaming Pony in the Soul, by paying the cost of binding it from your Soul, you can Soul Charge 2 to take its place. So our Flaming Pony is a good way to build up your soul for later Soul Blast or to increase the number of cards in your soul to potentially activate Chaos's skill. So our Flaming Pony, we're putting two in a deck. There we go. And now for the Grade 0 lineup. For the Grade 0s of this deck, we're playing the Grade 0. Right deck. One with Profound Mercy, Chaos, Skill, Auto. When this is rolled upon, if you went second, draw a card. So for one with Profound Mercy, Chaos, it's the starter unit of this deck. It's skill when running the top of, if you went second, draw a card. Silver 1 with Profound Mercy Chaos, we're putting 1 in the deck, putting the right deck, okay. Next up, the Trigger lineup. For the triggers of this deck, we're playing the... We're pulling the Grade 0... The Grade 0, Flinty Slasher, Critical Trigger, putting 2 in the deck, there we go. Next up, we're putting in the Grade 0, Steam Scara, Mel Niguel, Heal Trigger, putting 1 in the deck, there we go. Next up. The Grade Zero, Diabolos Girl, Natalia, Over Trigger, Skill Continuous as a Guardian. If your opponent's Vanguard is great to your Vader, this unit gets 5,000 Shield. So for Natalia, she's a powerful front trigger to play in your Dark State Station decks for skill. When you used to guard with while your opponent's Vanguard is great 3 or greater, she gets 5,000 Shield, making Natalia a potential 20,000 point Shield on her own. So for Diabolos Girl, Natalia, we're putting 2 in the deck. There we go. Next up, the... Grade 0, Stem Deviate Dragon, Critical Trigger, Skill, Auto as a rear guard. At the end of battle, this unit boosted. Cost, put this unit to your soul. If the cost is paid, choose one of your units, and it gets plus 2000 power at the end of turn. So for Stem Deviate Dragon, it's a powerful critical trigger to play in your Dark State Station's decks. It's skill. After boosting the attack, regardless if the attack suits or not, as long as you don't mind moving Stem Deviate from your rear guard to your soul, you can give one other unit in your field, Vanguard or rear guard, plus 2000 power. Super Stem Debit is a good way to not only build up your soul for later Soul Blast, but or to increase the number of cards in your soul to activate Chaos's skill, but to also give your remaining attackers in the field a little extra power to work with. Super Stem Debit Dragon, and putting three in the deck. There we go. Next up, the Grade Zero. Roost, Weltmaster, Riley, draw trigger, skill, continuous as a guardian. If your opponent's vanguard is great through or greater, this unique is five five thousand shield. Silver Roost, Wildmaster Riley, it's a powerful draw trigger to play in your Dark Station's decks. It's skill. When you used to guard with while your opponent's Vanguard is great to your greater, she gives us 5,000 shield, making Riley a potential 10,000 point shield on her own. Silver Roost, Wildmaster Riley, we're putting, let's see, two in the deck. There we go. Next up, the Grade Zero, Incorruptible Holy Light, Efua, Heal Trigger, Skill, Auto. When this unit is placed in the Guardian Circle, if your opponent's attacking unit has attacked two or more times this turn, this unit gets plus 15,000 shield until the end of battle. Activate if this battle is its second at this attack this turn or more. So for Eufia, she's a powerful heal trigger to play in your Dark Station's decks. Her skill, when used to guard against an opponent's attacking unit that has attacked two or more times that turn, Efua gets plus 15,000 shield, making Efua a potential 25,000 point shield on her own. So for Afua, she's a good heal trigger to play against opponents whose decks specialize in restanding units for attacking multiple times, like for or like for Vanguard or Rear Guard. So for Incorruptible Holy Light Afua, we're putting two in the deck. There we go. Next up, we're putting in the Grade Zero. Grade Zero, Diablo Scrolls, bye bye, Critical Trigger. We're putting we're putting, let's see. I guess for this critical trigger, I'm gonna put in two in the deck. Two in the deck, there we go. And next up, we're putting in... Let's see, one more card, the Grade Zero, Diabolos Girls, Ariana, Heal Trigger. For this Heal Trigger, I'm gonna be putting into the deck, I guess, for this card. Mm. Okay, for Diabolos Girls, Ariana, Heal Trigger, putting one in the deck. And last but not least, the... Next, we're putting in the Grade Zero, Hades Dragon, DD Resentment, Resentment, Gamish Help, Over Trigger, Skill, Trigger, Additional Bet, you get during your turn, all of your rear, your Vanguard's gives plus 10,000 power, plus one critical until end of fight, so for Gamish Help, it's a powerful, it's the Over Trigger for the Dark Six Nation, like any other Over Trigger in the Carpet Vanguard Training Card game, it features the same skill and activation, when revealed during a drop check or damage check, you get 100 million power and draw a card, but it also features an ability unique to it alone. It's skill when revealed during a drop check on your turn. 
it, for the remainder of the fight, your Vanguard gets plus 10,000 pound plus one critical during your turn. Super Gamma Shell, it's an over trigger that's best revealed the earlier you reveal it in a fight during your turn for a drive check. For the moment you reveal it on a drive check on your turn, for the remainder of the fight, your Vanguard gets plus 10,000 pound plus one critical, making it easier to potentially pressure or finish off your opponent with the increased power and critical to your Vanguard. Silver Hades Dragon, DD Resentment, Gamma Shell, over trigger, we're putting one the deck. Okay, with that, the deck's in built. Card is explained. So let's just save the deck. Saving deck. There we go. And for the cards this deck, we're playing. Three, grade three. Crawl, you insects. Two, grade three. Time Jared Dragon. Four, grade three. Approaching Fangs. Chaos. Four, grade three. Cool Headed Executor. Mikani. Two, great two, selfish engraver. Two, great two, amazing frost. One, great two, quagmire of solace, chaos. One, great one, psychic prima, Miranda. Two, great one, steam battler, gungrum. Three, great one, recusal hate dragon. Two, great one, Brainwash Swirler. Four, great one, Steam Maiden Barney. Two, great one, Flaming Pony. One, great one, Indicom Streets, Chaos. And one, great zero, one with Profound Mercy, Chaos, starting unit. And for the triggers of this deck, we're playing. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're playing eight. Critical. Triggers. Oh, sorry, that's seven critical triggers. Sorry, seven critical triggers. And next we're putting, we're also playing two front triggers, two draw triggers, four heal triggers. And one over trigger, Gamma Shell. All right, the deck's been built, cards explained. Before we test out the deck, let's just rename the deck. Renaming the deck. Chaos. Let's see, it's, it's spelled K H E I O S. Chaos. Is that the correct spelling? Chaos. K H E I O S. Yep, that's correct. Next, let's just change to get sleeves, chain sleeves. For this deck sleeves, we're using, let's see, okay. First, for the main deck sleeves, we're using the Dark State Station sleeves, press A, there we go. And for the right deck sleeves, we're using this Team Dragon, Dragon Moon sleeve, for the right deck sleeve, press Y, okay. So with that, the deck's unbuilt, card is explained, card sleeves change, and deck rename, so let's just Test out the deck now, leaving the edit deck menu, return the main menu, go into fight menu, CPU fight, selecting the deck I just built, the Dark States Chaos D Booster 5 deck. Selecting deck. And now choosing opponent. Okay, who would be a good opponent to test out on? Let's see. I think I'm gonna test this deck out against. Masaru Kita, normal difficulty. Okay, the battle begins. Get started. And here we are in the fight. We're gonna decide who goes first. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock to rock. I go one more time. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Paper to scissors. I lose. Going second. Okay. Drawing our starting hands. I got. Let's see. Great one, Barney. Brain of our swirler. A heel trigger. A great two frost and a great three order card. Okay. 
I gotta hold on to the normal units to call and attack and use their skills, so I'm just gonna return the order card and the heal trigger for the redraw. Perfect guard and order card, not bad. Alright, stamp the vanguard. My opponent goes first, he rides the grade one. Deep Sonicer, Sonicer skill, he soul charges a Electro Spartan, okay. My turn, I draw, I ride from the right deck in the Com Streets Chaos. For the right deck cost, okay, gotta hold on to the normal units and the perfect guards as well, so I'll just discard the grade 3 order card for the right deck cost, discard and ride. The great one in the Com Streets Chaos. The starting unit, Chaos is skill, draw a card. The card I drew was, okay, not bad. Then I called Brainwash Swirler to the rear guard. Call Swirler skill, Soul Charge 1. The card I Soul Charged was... Ah, no, my Over Trigger, come on, seriously? Ah, whatever, go into battle phase. My Vanguard attacks the Vanguard, AK. The attack goes through, Drag check. No trigger, Barney. So 1 damage to my opponent. Slash, damage check. Yes, no trigger! And now, one more attack. Bring more Swirl attacks to Vanguard. AK, the attack goes through. And boom, one damage. Damage check. No trigger, okay. So that's the end of my turn, my opponent's turn. My opponent's going to ride the Grade 2 Electro Spartan. Then he calls the Grade 2 Spartan. Spartan skill, he soul charges, okay. Critical trigger and engraver, not, not bad. Rear to Vanguard. 8k, okay, then. Alright, I'm gonna. Let the first two attacks go through and use my trigger to block the last attack, so no guard, take the hit. No guard. Ow! Damage, Damage check. Damage. Yes! Critical trigger, just what I needed! I give it all to my vanguard. Now with 18k, trigger effects added. Vanguard to vanguard, one trigger to pass, no guard. Keep drive checks. No trigger, safe, okay. The attack is blocked, survive. Now Spartan in the rear guard attacks my Swirler, gotta guard it, guarding with the... I guard with the critical trigger, nope, I guard the great one, Barney, 13k, the attack is blocked. Okay, the attack is blocked, survive, so that's the end of my opponent's turn. Now it's my turn, I stand and draw. I ride from the right deck, Quackmire, Solace, Chaos, for the right deck cost, I gotta discard one card, okay. Hold on to Barney and Frost and the two perfect guards and the trigger. Because I need the Frost and Barney to use their skills and the perfect guards and the trigger to guard. So I'll just discard Pony since its skill can only be used from the, from the soul. So discard Flaming Pony. Ride from the right deck. Quiet Mire of Solace Chaos. In the Calm Streets Chaos is skill. Soul Charge. Look the top two cards in my deck. Two normal units. Nice. Selfish Engraver and Flaming Pony. And now I activate my... From the soul, flaming pony skill. Bind it from the soul and soul charge two. And I soul charge two. A perfect guard and another engraver. Okay. Next, I'm going to call Amazing Frost to the rear guard. Call. That should be it. Not gonna use its skill. Alright, that should be enough. Go into battle phase. First up. Swirler attacks the Great One, Clumsy Assistant, 8k to 8k. The attack goes through, and boom, one regard down. Now my Vanguard attacks the Vanguard, 10k to 10k. The attack goes through, drive check. Yes, front trigger, just what I needed. I give all effects to my front row, and one damage to my opponent. Slash, damage check. No trigger, nice. So one more attack from my Amazing Frost, 20k to Vanguard. He got the critical trigger, 25k attack blocked, okay. So now that's the end of my opponent's turn. My, my turn, not my opponent's turn. My opponent's going to ride the grade 3, Master of Gravity, Barrel Madness. Then his grade 2 Spartan skill, he puts one card to the soul and soul charges. He got a draw trigger and a an assistant, okay. Rearguard to Vanguard, 10k. Okay, the two rearguards are 10k. Vanguard for 13k. He only has 8 cards in the soul, so we cannot use the plus 1 critical skill that Bear Madness offers. So, okay. I think I'm gonna use my triggers to guard the two rearguards and just let the Vanguard go through. So, I use my critical trigger to block the first attack. 25k. Attack blocked. I survived. 
And now here comes an attack from the Vanguard, 13k. No guard, take the hit. Key to drives, first check. No trigger, and second check. No trigger. Ah, but he can persona right next to her. Not good. Okay, here it comes. One damage to me. Light rains down, and out. Damage check. Yes, critical trigger. Just what I needed. I give all effects to my Vanguard. Power and critical added. Now the remaining attacker cannot attack my Vanguard. He attacks the Great One, Great War Swirler. Okay, I guard the front trigger. 23k. The attack is blocked. Great War Swirler is protected. And okay, that's the end of my opponent's turn. My turn, stand and draw. I ride from the right deck, approaching Fang's Chaos for the right deck cost. I gotta hold on to Barney and two perfect guards, so I'll just discard the critical trigger, stem the Evit for the right deck cost. Right, approaching Fang's Chaos. Next, the grade two, Quack Myrip Solace is Chaos' skill. I soul charge one. The card I soul charged was a normal unit. Nice, now I can call a normal unit from my soul to the rear guard. In the soul, I have a total of eight cards. One and Total number of different cards is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 different cards because I have 2 engravers, so I'm going to call the extra copy of engraver from my soul to the rear guard over here. Bring more sword of skill, plus 5,000 power. There we go. Now switching the places of brainwash and... Yep, switching the places of Brainwash and Graver. Then next, I'm going to activate my Vanguard skill. Counterblast one. Discard one card. Look at the top three cards in my deck. Okay, not a bad hand. So first, I'm gonna... Take the Approaching Fangs Chaos to add to my hand so I can Persona right next turn. To call to the rear guard, Brainwash Swirler to the rear guard over here. And Swirler skill, so charge one. I soul charge a grade 3 Makani, and then my two brainwash is skill, they get plus 5,000 power, plus 5,000, and another 5,000. There we go. And the rest goes to soul. Now my soul is 9 cards total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 different cards. Good progress. So, alright, that's all I can do for now. Going to battle phase. First up, my Vanguard attacks the Vanguard, 13k. Chaos is skill. With 8 or more different cards in my soul, I can give 10,000 power to one rear guard. I give the power to Selvish Engraver. There we go, power added. The attack goes through to a drive for check. Yes! Raw trigger! I give all effects to Selvish Engraver, draw a card. I drew a front trigger, not bad. And second check. Makani, not bad, okay. So the attack goes through, 1 damage to my opponent. And my snakes come in, chomp, damage check. Ah, heal trigger, come on! She heals one damage and gives off extra vanguard, okay. Then first up, my Selvish Engraver, boosted by Swirler, attacks the vanguard, 48k. The attack goes through, and boom! One damage, damage check. No trigger, nice. Now Engraver skill. After a successful attack, I can Soul Charge 1, Soul Charge a Chaos, then my Swirl of Skill, plus 5,000 power, and again, another 5,000 power. Alright, then... Not gonna activate the other skill of Engraver, so not 28k here, but the Vanguard is 23k, so I think I'm going to... Attack the rear guard instead, boosted by Brainwash Swirler. Amazing Frost attacks the rear guard, Kigra. And the attack goes through, so freeze, one rear guard down. Okay, then that's the end of my turn, my opponent's turn. My opponent's going to Persona Ride, Bear of Magnus, okay. Draws a card, power added. He calls Kigra to the rear guard, Kigra's skill. Discard and Soul Charge, now he's 9 cards in Soul, okay. He still only has 9 cards in Soul, he still cannot activate the effect of Bear Madness to get a plus 1 critical, so 20k from this side, 20k from this side, okay. I'm going to 
Yep, okay, I'm gonna use my triggers to guard the rearguard's attack and just let the vanguard go through, so... I first got this first attack even been... Draw trigger. Yep, guard a draw trigger, plus 5,000 shield. 23k, attack blocked, I survived. And now here comes an attack from my opponent's vanguard, 23k, no guard, take the hit. Key twin drives, first check. No trigger, Curtis, and second check. No trigger, Curtis, okay. So one damage to me. And okay, light rains down, and... Ow! Damage check. Yes, heal trigger! I cannot heal, but give power to... The Vanguard. Now here comes attack from the rear guard. Okay. 20k to 10k. I gotta protect my selfish engraver. So I think I'm just gonna guard with the front trigger. 25k. 30k attack blocked. My selfish engraver survives. Okay. That's the end of my opponent's turn. My turn. Stand and draw. Okay. I'm Persona Ride approaching Fang's Chaos. Persona Ride and... Okay, then I'm going to activate Chaos' skill. I Counter Blast 1, discard 1, and look at the top 3 cards in my deck. I got... Okay, these 3. In my soul, I have... None of the, the cards, okay, except for Chaos, so okay. To add to my hand, I'm going to... Right, the card go that's going to my hand is Chaos, the Persona right with, and to call to the rear guard, Stem Deviate Dragon over here, and the rest of the cards go to the soul, okay, that should be enough. Then... Alright, going to battle phase, gonna save up my hand for the next turn just in case, so... First up, boosted by Stem Deviate, my Vanguard Chaos text the Vanguard, 27k. My Chaos is scaled with 8 or more different cards in the soul. I can give 10,000 power to one rear guard. I give it to... Selfish Engraver. My opponent perfect guards, okay. Keep perfect guards and discards a Curtis for the cost, okay. Twin Drive for check. Time Jared Dragon and second check. And Barney, okay. So the attack does not go through. Next, boosted by Brainwash Swirler, my- wait, hold on, Stem Debit skill. After boosting, it goes to the soul, and give 2,000 power to one unit. I give it to... I guess I'll give it to... Brainwash Swirler on the right. Next, boosted by Brainwash Swirler on the left, my left side Selfish Engraver attacks the Vanguard, 38k. The attack goes through, and... Boom! One damage, damage check. No trigger, okay, the attack was through, then Engraver skill, I soul charge one, soul charging a Time Jarrett, Swirler skill, plus 5,000 power, and again, Swirler skill, plus 5,000 power, and now, boosted by Swirler on the right, wait, not gonna activate the second skill of Engraver, boosted by Swirler on the right, Amazing Frost attacks the Vanguard, 35k, my opponent perfect guards, okay. And he guards with discarding a critical, alright. And the attack is blocked, my opponent survived. And that's the end of my turn, my opponent's turn. My opponent is going to Persona Ride again, not good. Keep Persona Ride, Spare of Madness. Now he has 10 cards in soul. Rear got the Vanguard, okay. Alright then, first I gotta. I guess I'll let the first attack go through and then let the remaining attacks be blocked since his, his vanguard is guaranteed to get plus one critical, so... No guard, get the first hit. Ow! Damage check. No trigger, okay. Here comes the attack from the vanguard, 23k. Then his skill, he's going to counter blast one and give his vanguard power and critical. And plus 10,000 power, plus one critical, not good. I... I perfect guard with... Rakeels of Hate, and for the perfect guard cost, I'm gonna discard Time Jarrett, 
Two Twin Drives, first check. No trigger, Bear Madness, not good. He can Persona right next turn. Second check. Ah, over trigger, come on. Million power to the rear guard, okay. And the attack is blocked. One hundred million power to the Vanguard, but I can perfect guard, but I should hold, preserve my hand for my next offense, and it's only one damage, so I can afford to take it. No guard, take the hit. Here it comes, out. Damage check. Heal trigger, ah, wasted a trigger. All effects to Vanguard, cannot heal. Okay, that's the end of my opponent's turn. My turn, stand and draw. I Persona Ride. Approaching Fang's Chaos. There we go, Persona Riding. And now, I call to the rear guards. Cool Headed Executor, Mikani. And one more Mikani. Wait, not to use its skill. Calling one more Mikani to the front over here. And okay, not gonna use Mikani's skill. I have six cards left in deck. I have 15 cards in soul. Total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different cards. Alright, with 13 or more different cards in the soul, I can give 10,000 power to all of your guards now. So, alright, then I'm just gonna call. Gungrum to the rear guard, call Gungrum skill, I soul charge one, soul charge, and swear the swear skill, plus 5,000 power, again the other swear the skill, plus 5,000 power, there we go, power added, alright that should be enough, then just going straight to battle phase, first up, my right side Mikani unboosted attacks the vanguard, 23k, he goes for critical, attack block, 28k, okay. Then boosted by the left side Makani, nope, unboosted. The left side Makani attacks the vanguard, 23k. My opponent guards for critical again, okay. And attack blocked. Then next up, boosted by Gungrum, my vanguard, chaos attacks the vanguard, 31k. Then the skills activated first, the Makani on the left side. With eight or more cards in my soul, different parts of the soul, restand. One more time, restand Mikami. Now my two Mikani's can attack again. Then chaos the skill. With thirteen or more different cards in my soul, I can give ten thousand power to all rear guards. Here we go, ten thousand power to everyone. Now it's forty-one k for my vanguard. The attack goes through. Twin drive for check. Yes, critical trigger, just what I needed. I give critical to the vanguard, power to the right side Mikani. There we go. Critical and power added. And second check. Yes! Critical trigger! I give critical to my vanguard, power to the right side Mikani. And that's three damage to my opponent. And a huge power boost to my right rear guard. And here it comes, three damage to my opponent. The snakes are crawling in and chomp. Damage check. Yes! Critical trigger! He cannot heal! And... Trigger effects wasted. And with that, that's 6 damage, I win. Huh, not too bad. I got to try out the cards in the deck pretty well. I got to activate my Vanguard's main skills and get the necessary cards to activate the set skills. So I got... Win, double critical, double trigger, attack 40,000 more power, perfect guarded, opponent to an over trigger, did a persona ride, 8 turns pass, disappear a call, and retard 5 power posing units. I got 2900 BP, total 52,875 BP, press A to go next. And leaving the fight, returning to fight menu. Leaving the fight menu, return to the main menu. Back to main menu, over to edit deck menu. And here we are, and so with that, I just about finished testing out the deck. I mean, first I finish build, explain the deck's build and card effects, then I just finish testing out the deck in front of you, so with that, that's all the time we have for today. First up, I want to say thank you to the viewers watching today's video, and to please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. I also hope you all show your support by liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing to my videos and channel, and with that I say, goodbye, and see you all soon.